My name is Josh Jenkins. This is my FTE 211 week six assignment. Today is April 17th, 2024. All right, for part one, the ask here is to assess the assembled uh, sear before we take this uh, weapon apart. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide it back again. This weapon's been cleared from earlier. Uh, the hammer is back and the sear is engaged. So when I pull the trigger, it's got a nice crisp feel to it. So just from the outside of this, just looking in like this, uh, the sear is in very, very good condition and it engages um, uh, very well. Um, part two, what we need to do is we've got the gun, we've got our 1911 re-disassembled once again. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick three parts and I'm gonna talk about, uh, or I'm gonna show how they fit in here and, sh and see how they fit and if there's any suggestions that we could do to potentially fix that, you know, polish it up or anything. So the three I've chosen are going to be the thumb safety, which is right here. And that fits in this hole back here. It's got two holes it fits in. So we're gonna slide that in right there. And that works pretty good. Uh, I don't feel any grittiness, graininess there. Uh, the second thing we wanna check is the barrel bushing. And you know, this has been greased up pretty good. So we're gonna slide that in there. It's got good movement. I don't feel any uh, feel any hesitation or anything in there. Well, let's just leave that in there. And then the slide to frame fit. So what we're gonna do, so I don't feel any hesitation or grittiness in there either. Uh, what I will say is if this were an issue where there was grittiness or something that needed to be adjusted, what we can do is like we did last week where we polished up, uh, where we polished up our, uh, our feed ramp and everything, uh, what we could do is uh, we could polish some of these pieces up, uh, make sure they're really uh, greased up and lubed up pretty good, but polishing them with some flits is, that, is absolutely one of the things that we can do. Okay, so for part four, uh, we're going to be uh, polishing uh, a few things. We're going to be polishing uh, the trigger, uh, the disconnector, uh, the sear and sear spring, and the hammer. So we're going to be doing all of that here in a few minutes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get reset real quick. All right, like with last time, what we're going to do, uh, and again, you don't really need to polish these up too, too much because the fits, they fit pretty good, but we are just going to polish them up per the spe per the specifications and the, and the guidance from this week's uh, um, reading. So we put everything back together and we need to assess the performance once again, now that we've got it back together. And to do that, we're gonna do a functions check. So we're gonna take some dummy snap rounds. Make sure the weapon's clear. We're going to uh, put a magazine in with two rounds. We're going to pull the slide back, rack it in place. Uh, and we're going to feed, uh, we're gonna feed chamber and lock into place a dummy round. So now we're gonna turn around, we're gonna turn the uh, safety on and we're going to pull the trigger. Nothing happens, engage the safety grip, pull the trigger. Nothing happens at all, so that's that's expected. So we're gonna put the, ha uh, put the safety down, we're gonna pull the trigger. Nothing happens, with the, this is with that grip safety off. Grip safety, pull it down, fires as it's supposed to. We're gonna keep our fig finger on that trigger and then we're going to simulate uh, a ejection. Round ejects, the next round feed chambers and locks into place. And we're gonna reset the trigger, switch hands here. And then we're going to simulate firing. And then we're going to, again, simulate firing. Round is ejected, slide locks open, and we're gonna to listen to the for the trigger to reset. For the last part, they ask us to do, uh, they ask us to do a uh, drop test. So what we're gonna do is we're going to load this up with dummy safe, set dummy rounds. We're gonna Put it into the condition that is that was designed by John Moses Browning. So we're going to put the hammer back. Safety is on. We're going to choke, and then so we're going to do some light tapping uh, with the safety on. Now we're going to take the safety off. Repeat the same test. And that's just uh, to test if it was dropped, would it go off? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna point in safe direction. We're gonna put the grip, grip safety down. Safety is off. Fire. Works. Works as designed. 